ಶ್ರೀ ವಿಶ್ವೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಐ ಬೋ ಡೌನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವಿಶ್ವೇಶ್ವರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಐ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಡಿಗ್ನಿಟರೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾಲ್ವಾರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಂಚಕರ್ಮ ಹು ಆರ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಟುಡೆ ಫಾರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಶ್ವ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಪರಿಷತ್ ಪಂಚಕರ್ಮ ಸಂಭಾಷ ಪಂಚಕರ್ಮ ಲೆಕ್ಚರ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಅಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಟ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ದ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆಕ್ರೆ ಸೆಕ್ರೆಟರಿ ಆಫ್ ವಿಶ್ವ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಪರಿಷತ್ ಫಾರ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಮೀ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲಾಟ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಟು ಶೇರ್ ಮೈ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ಗ್ಯಾದರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ also i would like to thank professor rk gupta sir national national convener of vishwa ayurved parishad professor santosh chavan sir co convener of vishwa ayurved parishad panchakarma sambhasha parishad and dr chetan gulhane sir for introducing me and as a coordinator for this parishad and i welcome you all the participants who are there joined in this webinar as we all know and dr already described that what is the motto of this vishwa ayurved parishad and what this parishad is doing for the well being of the ayurveda and now it is for the panchakarma it is a privilege to be a part of that good work and it's my really i am blessed to be here with all of you and it's a better opportunity for me to be with all of you without and as we all know that tbs three lectures were a very informative and very excellent lectures which our vishwavidyat parishad has already organized so i try my best to contribute in the same way that this lecture would be useful for the teachers who have joined this webinar and to the students also so the as womana already we finished in last lecture so i thought the therapeutic precision in virechana practices will be the topic why i choose this topic is as we know that everybody is doing virechana in the clinical practice or in the institute setup also but as a panchakarma specialist i think there are many precisions like a uh, minute things which should be used in a therapeutic or in the clinical practice of virechana so myself dr rajkala patil already dr chetan has given the introduction would thank you all and i will start the lecture in short the brief content of this lecture is it's a introduction to the classical principles of virechana and virechana in clinical practice how to use it and virechana as a research agenda what are the ways or what are the gaps we are having in the research in the field of virechana and then coming to the virechana as a teaching tool how to how what are our responsibility when teaching or teaching uh, virechana or practicing virechana so what is virechana as we all the ayurveda physicians we know that it is the ayurvedic detoxification therapy it's the controlled therapeutic purgation it's not the purgation many times the patient or modern doctor when we explain them that this is the ayurvedic therapy they are worried that what happens when patient goes to the toilet for 30 times so it's a controlled therapeutic purgation it is widely used as a purificatory procedure in panchakarma and this process which eliminates morbid dosha doshas through adobhaga that is expulsion of waste through the anal route and it is suitable for the present lifestyle or busy schedule also like when i cannot do the other procedures like vamana or basti so it is the easiest way to do the virechana and because it need very less hospital stay so why to teach virechana like as we all are the panchakarma teachers or the students why we should learn or we should teach the virechana in detail or what is the motto of this teaching virechana because as panchakarma procedures are concerned there are the ways or there are the chances of complications so to avoid that complication and to make students superior a bms student is also practicing panch panchakarma or virechana 
एमडी स्टूडेंट इज ऑल्सो प्रैक्टिसिंग विरेचना सुपर स्पेशलिटी और पी एच डी डॉक्टर इज ऑल्सो प्रैक्टिसिंग विरेचना वॉट मेक्स द स्पेसिफिक और वॉट मेक्स द सुपेरियर इज वॉट वी शुड लर्न दैट इज द प्रिसीजन एंड टू डेवलप द कॉन्फिडेंस मेनी टाइम्स इफ अ डॉक्टर गेट कॉम्प्लिकेशन इन विरेचना ही अवॉइड टू डू द विरेचना बिकॉज Uh, during this clinical practice, many times we also get the complications. Like patient fell in the washroom, he got head injury. Sometimes patient get very severe hypo hypotension or hypoglycemia. This comes, but when the student or the teacher knows what are the chances, what are the chances of complication, why these complications are happen, and how to manage it, so ultimately the student get the confidence to develop that, and of course. it's a very good treatment for many diseases i would say for all the diseases that's why for the man well being of the mankind we should learn or we should teach the virechana as we all know the it is a superior panchakarma as there is like panchakarma is only superior among all the therapies because there is na no recurrence of the diseases like dosha kadachit kupanti jita langana pachane hi jita sanshodane hi na tu tesham punaruddhava that's why if a patient is getting skin disease again and again if he do the only shamana cannot give the complete solution or complete cure to the patient of course virechana can give or of course panchakarma can give that's why or a rheumatoid arthritis or a recurrent fever in such cases if we we do if we go for the panchakarma there will not be recurrence that is the positive part and it is the radical treatment it destroy the roots of the disease many diseases we can cure it from the root and it is a very good in many diseases that we will come in the next slides panchakarma for the preservation of the health maintenance of health and conservative treatment of the diseases also we use it promotion of longevity for the rasayana also we use the panchakarma its historical historical roots and significances we usually prefer virechana after or shodhana after 10 years only so na shuddhi una dashame na cha atikrantam saptato it is our the general uh, historical way to do the shodhana and for pitta and pittanubandha virechana is in, indicated the fundamental principles of vir, virechana are it is the holistic approach of ayurveda that if a, a iit teacher comes to our opd and we says uh, yes you have the skin disease so we have to do he is having skin disease in on faith and we say yes we are going to do the purgation for you he is asking why you are doing the purgation as i am having the disease on my face so because in ayurveda it's a holistic way we are not thinking like if the patient is having only earache sometime in severe otitis media we do the virechana or we do the vamana so it is not only that area or organ we are thinking we are thinking in a holistic way this is the way of ayurveda or it is the approach of ayurveda and the important part in virechana or in, of course in panchakarma but in virechana it is the agni and kushta assessment if a scholar or a teacher is able to assess the agni and kushta properly there will not be any complication throughout the panchakarma so all already dr uh, professor sachin chandaliya sir has developed one tool for the kushta assessment there are many tools for the agni assessment but in when we sit in the clinical practice it's very in opd there are 100 patients are there and we have to assess we have to plan panchakarma in them so it is the short tool you can with practice you can develop that how to assess the agni how to assess the uh, kushta of the patient and we can plan accordingly accordingly and of course daily assessment we are doing the avastha of the disease whether the disease in amavastha of course in uh, starting only i told virechana can cure all the diseases or many diseases but but we should understand whether the patient is in amavastha or niramavastha then only we can plan the panchakarma or virechana if a skin disease also of course it is indicated for shodhana but if the patient is in amavastha we cannot go for the snehpana not shaman snehpana not shodhana anga snehpana so there we need to do the niramavastha in the first phase then only we can go for the other virechana procedure or if the patient is of vata shonita also or rheumatoid arthritis or gout or ankylosing spondylosis or sle or 
Jogren syndrome, Raynaud syndrome, whatever you say in the modern science, it comes under Vata Shonita or we can consider it as a Amavasta of Vata Shonita in, in all the conditions. First, we have to go for the Dipana Pachana or we should transform that Avasta of the disease into the Nirama Avasta. So these are the fundamental principles of Virechara. We should understand the Dosha Pradhanta which is involved in that particular disease or particular person and we should be able to teach our student how to assess this dosha pradhanta like the basics is given basics are given in the ashtang so we should we should be well versed and we should make our student well versed to understand the disease and prakriti on the pure ayurvedic form mostly many students or doctors are based or depend on the modern techniques of course, modern techniques they should use, but a student should know what are the agni, what is the agni, what is the dosha predominance, what is the dosha involved in the disease, what is the prakriti, what is the sattva, what is the satmaya. Without that, panchakarma cannot be done. So, basic knowledge of Ayurveda or the, it is not the basic actually, it's the fundamental knowledge of Ayurveda is very much important in the virechana. Of course, bala of the patient. Strength is also very important. I have seen one patient, he is a very like, he always say, yes, I'm so strong. I'm so strong. And I, doctor, you can give strong medicine to me. And when I give 50 gram of Trivita he went to 18 times only. And after 18 times, he told me, ma'am, you should stop it. I cannot go after this. So that once the sattva was very less. So, of course, Shodhana is indicated for the Balwan only or for the Satvavan patient only. So this, should, this also we should impart, impart on our students how to assess it. Need for precision in Ayurvedic practices, specifically in Virechana, this is the most important part. Individualized nature of Ayurveda, Purusham Purusham Vikshan, it is the fundamental of Virechana at every stage, not only in the selection of the Virechana Aushada. It is there from the Deepana Pachana, from the Snehapana, choice of Snehapana, dose of Snehapana, during gap days, the Sneha, what we use for the Deep, uh, Sne Abhanga Svedana and the time of administration also depend on that. So, individualized nature is also is so much important. Customization of Virechana procedure. That's what so tailoring procedure based on the individual constitution is, is the most important. I have seen like uh, being in the national institutes or working in Delhi or Jamnagar in Trivandrum is I always have seen like uh, we are doing in the classical way. Every day we are asking patient to come to the uh, hospital or the Panchakarma theater for the Snehapana for the assessment and we are daily counting the dose and giving to the patient and observing the Snehodvega. This is what routine practice we do. But I have seen in some cases, the doctor, okay, plan for Virechana. Uh, first day, Snehapana, 30 ml. Second day, 60 ml. Third day, 90 ml. Fourth day, 120, 120 ml. Fifth day, 150 ml. And come after seven days for the Abhanga Sveda. And on the fourth day, we'll take the Virechana in home. This is what practice many students or teachers. Those who, who whoever is practicing is not the individualized practice or customized practice of Virechana. So it's our responsibility being a Panchakarma specialist that we should train our student or our or the practitioners to make the customized plan for Virechana. It cannot be a standard operative procedure for all the patients. We have many variations and we should do this. Then only the, we will get the ultimate result with Virechana. Considering the current state of dosha imbalance, vikruti at every stage, the role of diet and lifestyle in supporting virechana, it is also very important. If patient cannot stay in sadharan rutu or in sadharan kala, we cannot do. The patient is telling, yes, I'm working in the IT sector. There is the full AC for the whole day and I have to stay there. We cannot go for snepana in such patient. So ask him to take leave for at least 10 days. So or if he cannot, uh, one security patient was coming to me and he says, ma'am, I'm, I'm having night duty. I cannot shift to the day duty. I told I cannot do panchakarma for you because the diet and lifestyle supporting, should patient should follow it. 
then only we can do, go for the panchakarma. Personalized recommendation for the patient, it's always different for every patient. I never send the same samsarjana chart to all the patient. I give everything change to every patient. So this is what we need. Making adjustment based on the patient's response. Yesterday, like one patient, my we are doing the sneha pana, and we started with 40 ml of sneha. On the first day, she told, ma'am, my appetite was at 1, 1 p.m. And I feel there is the small ghee in, on the second day when we gave 50 ml. On the second day, she told there is a soft stool and I have some blaze, some ghee in my stool. Of course, I stopped. I told her, okay, you shift the warm water to the cumin water, like jira, jira water. Why? These small changes will give the enhancement in the virechana. And I think yesterday it was 80 ml and she got appetite at 2, 2 p.m. and there was no loose tool at all. So that's how the changes making adjustment at every stage is important. It's a patient wise. We cannot say it for all. The medicines com commonly used in virechana, usually we prefer the trutavleha according to the disease. The dose varies. The time of administration varies according to the season. Avipati Karchurna, we prefer for the most skin diseases and where we don't want a strong virechana, there we give the Avipati Karchurna. Nimamrute Renda, we as as a Anupana, where we need in the for Kati Shola or ankylosing spondylosis, where there is stiffness is there, or we need the Katigat or IVDP patients. For them, we add the Nimamru Terenda in Pitta Pradhanta, Gandharasa Terenda in Vata, Vata and Kapha Pradhanta. Patol Muladi Kashaya, we add as an adjuvant or the Anupana in many skin diseases. Ichabidi Rasam, where we feel like patient having Kapha predominance or he may vomit or he is having the palatability issue. There we give the Ichabidi Rasam or Abhayadri Modakam according to the condition of the patient. Then who can benefit from the Virechana? Of course, those who can invest or who are ready to invest in health, they can go for the Virechana. Those who are sincere, dedicated for health, they, we, we should plan the Panchakarma in them only. Otherwise, the patient will end into the complication and doctor will end into the defamation. So it should not be done. If patient is ready, then only we should go for Panchakarma. Diseases of, diseases of gastrointestinal diseases, skin Skin diseases, autoimmune disease, are very good. I feel like in many autoimmune disease, Virechana is a working as a miracle. I have worked in many autoimmune diseases like uh, rheumatoid arthritis, Jogren syndrome, Raynaud syndrome, SLE, ankylosing spondylosis, or psoriasis. In many autoimmune diseases, it works as a miracle. So, and there is a, the recurrence is also less. If I always tell who are coming into my OPD, I always tell, do it for the three years consecutively. You won't get the relapse. And I have one patient of HLA B27 positive and RA factor positive. I did Virechana in 2014, 15, 16 for three years. She never get any relapse of the joint pain since till now. So this is what the Virechana is doing. In hormonal imbalance, like prolactin, more prolactin, hypo AMH, and uh, test, less testosterone, in that cases, it is working very good. Of course, in non-communicable disease, sedentary lifestyle, in Santrapanjana Vikaras, it is very effective. And many more. I have, I don't remember like in which disease I have not done the Virechana. So there are many cases where, where we usually do the Virechana. Preparing for the Virechana, we have to explain the detail. And we should make this, we should tell this to the students. Like, this is what the Preparation of Virechana. We should explain the procedure to the patient, do's and don'ts. Preoperative should be Deepana Pachana. Choice of drug is very crucial. It, it may be Katu Pachana in some condition or Tikta Pachana in some skin conditions. We can use Kashaya in different conditions, Arishta for different conditions. It's not like uh, Dashmula Arishta or Amruta Arishta I will give for Deepana Pachana in all cases. No. Sometimes I use Amruta Arishta also as a Deepana Pachana drug in a Amavasta of some specific conditions. Some tablets, sometimes I use Sudarshan Ganavati also, sometimes I use Leaf 52 also, sometimes I use Chitrakadi, sometimes I use Sanjeevani also, sometimes I use Bilwadi also for the Deepana Pachana. So it is varied. 
and we should be thorough with all these medicines. Then only we can draw, make our student to make the practice of Panchakarma very super speciality as a super speciality. Langhana and Dukshana, of course, it's, we all are worse, uh, well versed with what is Langhana, what is Rukshana. Internal and external preparation of the patient, it's uh, usually it is not possible to give the medicines of Dipana Pachana for the longer duration where we need the long-term Dipana Pachana. So in such cases, we can add some procedures with that to get or to enhance the Dipana Pachana effect or to get early Dipana Pachana or Rukshana effect. So Udvartana or Bashpasveda can be added as ob in obesity patient. I My one sister, sister husband, she told he want to, miss I want my husband to lose the weight. So I told, okay. And she came for the Virechana. I told sister, we will do the Udvartana first. And he lost, I think, three and a half kg weight with Udvartana and Bashpasveda. So the patient get more a patient feel happy that yes, this virechana is going to help me. So in Dipana Pachana only, we can add such therapies like Kashayadara or Dhanamgadhara in rheumatoid arthritis where there is severe pain or stiffness. We can add this procedure. So patient will be comfortable for the uh, Snehapana, Udgarshana or Siddhartha Krishnana in the skin diseases we can use. Churunapindasvida in neurological disorders, muscle disorders or uh, like uh, where we cannot go for Udvartana, there I usually prefer the Churnapinda Sveda. In some patients with hypertension, we cannot go for Udvartana. There we use the Churnapinda Sveda as a Rukshana. Baluka Sveda in Amavasta or Vaitrana also in Amavata can be given. So assessment prior to Snepana, this Vimala Indriyata, Sargomalanam, Laghavam Ruchi, Shrutut Sahodaya, Shuddha, Hrudaya Udgara Kantata Vyadhi Mardavam Utsaham Tandra Nashascha Langite. We should wait for this. Then only we should start the Snehapana. And this is, we should make our student to learn how to see the Nadi, how to examine the tongue to get proper Dipana Pachana. I usually teach in the OPD to students, like, see the tongue. If you feel the patient is prop, get, got proper Dipana Pachana, then only you can go for the Snehapana. Otherwise, not. So this is our responsibility. Usually, patient feel lightness in the body. The stool consistency, with the stool consistency also, we can understand what is the avastha or what is the stage of Dipana Pachana. Feeling of patient is most important in the Panchakarma at every stage. In females, corroborate menstruation date is a, also very much important. Otherwise, it will not come or it will disturb the whole panchakarma. Many times, if I have, if I have not planned and my patient comes to me in the panchakarma theater and I ask, on the second day or third day, she says, no, I cannot come for the Abhanga Sveda because I got my periods. So I always question the doctor whether the doctor don't know that during or the panchakarma should plan on the fifth day of the menstruation, it happens regularly. Wherever I, I was working in Delhi or in, in Banaras, it happens that the doctor plan the panchakarma in female and they don't know what is the date of menstruation. So it is our responsibility to corroborate or to correlate the date of menstruation with the virechana and snehapana should be start on the fifth day or on the sixth or eighth day of the menstruation only. Otherwise, it will disturb the whole panchakarma procedure and we cannot give the strong shodhana during menstruation. So, it should be start just after the menstruation. Snehapana, it's our use, it's our duty to train the student when to use taila, when to use ghee, when to use vasa, when to use majja for the snehapana. Which ghee of which company cost how much and which give better result? This is our responsibility because when I see the students, I always ask him, what is available in the market? Tell me which grita of which company is available. Of course, they don't know which will be the effective. That is our responsibility to tell them, to teach them. But at least they should be aware that in market, how many types of ghees are available. I remember, I won't tell the name of the company, but one company giving 150 ml of ghee for the 
360 rupees and one company is giving 150 ml of ghee for the 160 or 180 rupees and the other com company which is having less costly is giving better result in the patients so i saw responsibility to practice or to be well versed with the available medicines which are useful in the panchakarma it's not possible of course a vaidya can practice or prepare the own practice, own medicines but for the institution level or for the students it's not possible always for to prepare the medicines so at least we should be available many uh, for the abhanga and uh, abhanga also there are many different taila or different forms of taila are available in the market like Sacharadi Tailam, Sacharadi Kerat Tailam, Jatadi Tailam, Jatadi Kerat Tailam, Dhanvantar Kodambu, Dhanvantar Tailam, Dhanvantar. So, these all we should teach the students what is mean for that. What is the Kodambu? What is the Taila? What is the Kerat Taila? So, it will enhance the Panchakarma practice in the students. Usually, 500 to 800 ml ghee is needed for Panchakarma, for Snehapana in vamana or virechana but in the skin diseases we need more so what are the sneha in practice which we usually do is indukantam dadi madhigrita mahatiktam kri uh, indukantam usually i go for the in autoimmune diseases or dadi madhigrita for the uh, blood disorders or the pandu in such cases i go for the dadi madhigrita uh, tiktakam mahatiktakam uh, is usually for the skin diseases. Whenever there is uh, the Pitta Pradhanta, we go for the Maha Tiktakam. And whenever there is Kapha Pradhanta, we go for the Tiktakam. Sacharadi Taila in uh, uh, neural, neur neurological disorders, paraparesis, uh, we go for the Sacharadi Dhanvantaram. In stroke patients, we go for the Dhanvantar Taila. Panchagavagrita for the Apasmar, Unmad, or the psychological patients, we go for uh, Panchagavagrita. Bastamayantak. Of course, it's for the uh, ashmari or ureth urethral stricture. In such cases, we go for the bastamayanta grita. So, assessment of proper snehapana, that is already it's very, very uh, beautifully explained in the Shastra or in the Sushrut Ashtanga Rudaya. So, Adhasat Nidarshanam, days of snehapana and dose of sneha, that is uh, all we have to teach to the students. Reassess the koshta. Reassess the koshta after snehapana. To just confirm what you can, what you examine or what you assess prior to Dipanapachana is the same what you are getting after Snehapana. It's just confirmation or reassessing. A yoga or a yoga of Sneha, a yoga of Sneha, there are chances of a yoga of Virechana. This is what clinically we find. So there is nothing new in this. So, gap days, of course, uh, this is not for the actually teachers. I thought there are students also, but uh, when I talk, to Dr. Chetan. He told there are many teachers. So it's not for the teacher. Uh, this might be for the student only. The choice of Sneha for Abhanga, Eladi Kera Tailam for the skin diseases, Dhanvantaram Tailam for neurological disorders, Kottam Chukadi for Amavasa or Kapha Pradhanta, Breath Sandavadi whenever there is Ama. Chances of getting Ama, of course, after do doing Deepana Pachana, there will not be Amavasa. But if the patient is of uh, Amavata or rheumatoid arthritis, so we should go for the Prilsa and the Vadi Taila, Pinda Taila in Vata Shonita, Shirapala Taila in Pitta Pradhanta. Diet, of course, like uh, Kafut Kishkar Ahara, all students know, but Sushruta says like Pitta Vardhaka diet in before Virajan also, the specific diet is also there. And mostly what we forgot is to ask patient to take in the third day. Usually what say we say third day night but I prefer to give it in the afternoon only or soup can be taken or vegetable soup can be taken in evening only. Rasam or lemon rice, what is the South Indian recipes? If a patient from South India, I, say, I tell them, tell him to take the rasam or lemon rice. For the North Indians, mo, mo orange or mosambi juice is in the afternoon is okay. Pineapple juice or fruit can be taken. On the auspicious day, the massage and fermentation we usually do medicines with mantropacharita this is the most important part what I have seen the doctors are practicing uh, virechana itna gram le lijega why they have given the mantropachara brahme muhurta like murta 
and swasti vachana this is all very very important in panchakarma previously when i was uh, doing my phd i was not that much knowing the jyoti shastra but when i started my jyoti shastra learning i understand the importance of nakshatra muhurta and karana in panchakarma and we should seek or we should follow our classical practices otherwise why i am telling you all this thing because i have seen the complication because of the day as i did the vidhan of my guruji and she was suffering a lot i just gave 25 gram of avipatti kar churna and she says i am like a army person you can give me more dose i will not worry for that and i told ma'am no at her age was more i told no 15 gram is okay ma'am for you she told you are like she was telling me are you scared for me or are you worried for me i told no ma'am it's not like that i just want to do you vidu virachana only she told no no just give me strong i gave 25 gram and she was suffering a lot till night 2 o'clock she went 40 times and after that she told i don't know how many after that she counted 40 times vega and after doing the retrospective study i understand that was the purnima and that was the night of something like the nakshatra was not good and that's why we got complication of course she was all right on the next day also now also she is she is fine that make me to learn about the murta and jyotisha and of course in panchakarma it is what i am practicing i am routinely doing that and it is giving the better result so mantropacharana is also very important instead for the proper follow for a patient hot water when and how this we should tell to the patient or we should make our student well versed with that otherwise it is very difficult to do the panchakarma or virechana how to record procedure detail we should give the one form okay the post operative of virechana samsarjana it's a for vegetarian it's a different for non vegetarians it is different prakriti sta understanding is we should how many days it's not i never give the samsarjana for 5 day, 3 days 5 days or 7 days i usually give continue it till you get the prakriti sta like there are the symptoms like when patient get the normal normal see so till getting the normal see i continue the samsarjana and of course it is our responsibility or we all know what is the importance of yathanda tarunam tailam पूर्णम तैल पात्र गोपाल दंडिका सर्वस्माद अपचारता सो वी नो द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ दिस श्लोका वाई इट इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट टू बी वेरी विजिलेंट ड्यूरिंग ड्यूरिंग विकेचना एंड वॉट वाई वी आर गेटिंग कॉम्प्लिकेशन बिकॉज शून्य देहम प्रतिकार असहिष्णु परिपाल वी हेव टू टेक केयर ऑफ द पेशेंट द फॉलो i am not going into the more detail only the sneha mante balayacha is very very important for the after panchakarma or after virechana so benefits of virechana i won't go in detail yeah the virechana as a research agenda like uh, here i thought as a for the teacher this is the basics or uh, classical uh, principles of virechana so here are the research agendas what we face in the panchakarma or virech in as a teacher overview of current research on virechana which are already i have given in next slide highlighting the need of further studies potential benefits and outcomes of virechana research identifying areas for future research in virechana and examples of potential research questions and objectives and collaboration opportunities for researchers and practitioners areas of research in virechana we have the efficacy and safety studies we can go for the mechanism of action studies or patient specific responses long term outcomes published findings of the case studies and areas of consensus so there are gaps in the understanding and the efficacy and safety of virechana especially in diverse population or specific health con condition that we have to elaborate for the mechanism of action understanding of the underlying mechanism through which virechana exerts its therapeutic effects this could include physiological biochemical or molecular process we have, we can do research in this area need for research focusing on individualized response 
to Virajana based on factors like dosha constitution, age, and other individual variations should be done. Long-term outcomes as a lack of long-term studies assessing the sustained benefits and potential risk associated with repeated or extended Virajana practices are to be studied. studied published findings of case studies. Uh, there are many case studies. When I search on the PubMed, in the name of Virechana, only seven to seven seven research papers I got. Other all are the case studies. So it's our responsibility to note some noteworthy findings from research studies that have explored the therapeutic efficacy, safety, and applications of Virechana practices in an individual case, and we can take as a research in that area. Areas of consensus where there is a consensus in the current research, such a commonly accepted protocol or positive outcome, we can take as a research agenda for the future research. Potential questions, how do Virechana outcomes vary among doshas, dosha types, kushta types, season type, medicine type, sattva types, nakshatra types, etc. we have to do. Like, we cannot standardize the same uh, Truta Uleha for all the patients. No, we have to study what happens in the Vata Prakriti, what happens in the Pitta predominance, what happens in the Kapha predominance, what happens in the Kruru Koshta if we give the Truta Uleha, what happens in the Brudu Koshta, what happens in the Madhim Koshta, what happens when we give the Virechana in Sharad Rutu, what happens, or we should go for the studies to do in the all seasons and divide it according to the season. But in emergency, of course, in Apatakali, Krutrim Gunapadhanena Kriyate. We do the Panchakarma in all the seasons. So, what are the observations of doing Virechana in the Vasant in the Vasant Rutu? Or what are the observations doing Virechana in the Varsha Rutu? That studies has to be done. Medicines type, what what are the results with Koshaya? What are the results with tablet? What are the results with Avaleha that should be done. Sattva, different sattva patients we can take or we can divide the sample stratified into the different types of sattva and we can go for the study. Are there specific factors influencing individual responses to the virechana that should be studied? What molecule path, molecular pathways are activated during virechana? This, this can be a potential question for virechana. Research objectives. It should be our objective to conduct a longitudinal study assessing the impact of personalized Virechana protocol on treatment success rates. Conduct a randomized control trial comparing, comparing different Virechana frequencies and durations for conditions like digestive disorders or metabolic imbalances. Collaborate with medical professionals to conduct a feasibility study on integrating Virechana into the treatment plans for the conditions like chronic inflammatory disease, autoimmune disease. So this is our responsibility to, to do all this work or to add on the knowledge of recent knowledge of Virechana in the field. Molecular pathways activations. We can investigate the specific molecular pathways that are activated during and after Virechana treatments. Examine the changes in gene expression, protein synthesis, and signaling cascades triggered by the Virechana practice. These are all the bare areas which, which can be taken for the research. Cellular responses to the Virechana. We can explore how Virechana influences cellular, cellular responses, including changes in cell metabolism, proliferation, and differentiation. Investigate the impact of Virechana on cellular processes involving in inflammation, detoxification, and immune modulation. That are the ways how we can assess the cellular responses to the Virechana. Role of gut microbiota, we can investigate the interactions between Virechana and the gut microbiota. We can explore how, alter how alterations in the gut microbiome contribute to the therapeutic effects of Virechana on digestive health and the overall well-being. So many studies we are doing in the Panaras uh, Hindu University as the effect of Pirechana on the gut microbiota in different diseases. Neuroendocrine 
neuromodulation also we can explore the influence of pirechana on the neuroendocrine system including the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis we can inve investigate how virechana may modulate stress response and hormone balance at the neuroendocrine level the specific research ideas we can investigate the impact of virechana on cell pro cell pro proliferation and differentiation we can explore whether virechana practices influence the renewal and differentiation of cells in tissue relevant to specific health conditions we can analyze shifts in the composition of the gut microbiota induced by virechana we can investigate whether specific bacterial strains are affected and how these changes correlate with the health outcome thoughts there are some thoughts for the research as we all are the teachers we can evaluate the depth of investigations into how virechana modulates stress responses within the neuroendocrine system and we can assess the completeness of the examination of cortisol level stress hormone receptors and other markers associated with the hpa axis we can assess the thoroughness of the investigation into changes in the hormones such as cortisol adrenaline and neurotransmitters related to the stress modulation modulation we can evaluate the establishment of correlation between virechana induced neuroendocrine changes and imp improvement in the condition like anxiety depression or sleep disorders recent researches available in virechana so there so there are these are only some few studies which we can found on the we can find on the pubmed efficacy of virechana trifaladi decoction with processed with gugulu in the management of ovarian cysts done in the ipgtra jamnagar and second is clinical effect of virechana and shamana chikitsa in tamak shwasa this or this chaturvedi has done a good work like effect of mechanism of effect and mechanism of virechana karma that is therapeutic purgation over the fructose induced metabolic syndrome and experimental study under the guidance of R professor ravi shankar b sir and analysis of virechana karma with danti avliha these are these are the other other studies which already has been done it is on the pubmed these are the good studies on the virechana uh, but it's a like puja p also had done a standardized standard control clinical study on the virechan karma and lekhan basi in the management of dyslipidemia and of course this all yeah uh, madam kadus also has done the comparative study of anuvasana basi with constant and escalating dose as an alternative to the snehapana in purva karma of mana and virechana this also our student dr adil has done a good study or uh, under the guidance of dr Bhatt, professor bhatted sir like clinical study to evaluate the effect of virechan karma on serum electrolyte and all the study has shown that virechana is very effective in that particular disease and dr adil has proved that there is no any uh, serum electrolyte imbalance in the virechana so these studies helping us to practice or these are the uh, mirror for us to practice virechana or to teach the student for the virechana so now virechana in education it's our responsibility to integrate the virechana into ayurvedic education program like from the bms only they should be trained in the virechana curriculum designed for the comprehensive understanding or practical training for students in virechana practices we can establish collaboration between the educational institutes and clinics to get because virechana needs a complete 21 days and a student cannot every day he cannot uh, we cannot tell him like yeah this is in operative procedure okay you want to see the operation go to the operative theat operation theater and you can watch the operative at a at time for 2 hours or 3 hours but for if you want to learn the virechana it needs 21 days so from the deepana pachana then snehapana then gap days then virechana then post operative so for that we need the collaboration or in some institutes where their patients are not available they can collaborate with the clinic and they can show or teach the students as a virechana classical way of teaching encouraging knowledge exchange between the practitioners and students many things what i told you like we cannot do everything so a institutional teacher cannot prepare the medicines so a practitioner can do that so we can and in panchakarma it is very much important to learn or that students should make the learn to prepare the medicines also 
so that can be done in the with the collaboration practitioner benefit of a collaboration approach in the ayurvedic education and we can incorporate technologies and innovative approaches in vidyachana the role of continued profess professional development for teachers and practitioners of course i thank uh, vishwa ayurved parishad this is a way of continuous professional development for teachers and practitioners that we are getting different ideas from the different lectures so with yeah here are some uh, clinical applications of vidyachana which usually i do it in routine practice but for the uh, audience i thought i should see uh, show some clinical things so this is what the stana vidradi uh, mostly more uh, doctors say it is the uh, cancer but usually according to ayurveda it is the stana vidradi and we did we planned the vidyachana here in the left side you can see what i given for the dipana pachana i never give the uh, chitrakadi vati or am pachana vati for dipana pachana here i just gave the haridra khanda and ayush kwata for the dipana pachana and then we plan the snehapana with mahatikta grit abhanga with eladi ker tailam and virechana with trudtavleha and you can see the changes in the patch this was the previous and this is the after this is the previous and she was getting multiple times vidradi she is telling and she was worried the patient was worried that modern doctor told me to uh, investigate for the ca breast i told no you just give me one month let's let's do the shodhana and then we can you can go for the investigation if it recurs and i think this is what in fourth month still now she is coming to the opd for different complaints but she never complained of the stana vidradi so this is what virechana is doing in the clinical practice and when the addict he i i don't remember how much cigars he was taking how much drugs he was taking how much bhanga bhang he was taking i don't remember but what i remember when he came to the opd he could not sit he was running from the opd and his father was crying that he is a driver by profession and he is a worst he is he is doing everyday violence to his wife to his mother to his sisters to his father so that's why they took him to us and we did the panchakarma of course the virechana was the main procedure after that he stopped all the like uh, what that masala tambaku daru alcohol and that drugs he never took he used to take inject injectable also but after this he had not taken anything so uh my friends this is what i think this is our high time to work for the panchakarma and we are getting very good results in many areas when somebody ask me madam what is your specialization for a non ayurvedic person if somebody ask me or my doctor ask me mummy aap kis cheez ki doctor ho to i feel the question what to say nahi mere teacher puch rahe the tumhari mummy kis cheez ki doctor hai i cannot say <laughs> of course for a non ayurvedic person is not panchakarma is not the speciality or the detoxification is not the speciality they want some system then i last i say okay you can tell her that i am the keen specialist or I, i can manage the osteoarthritis diseases so it is very difficult for a panchakarma specialist to tell the speciality because it is panchakarma is working in many systems like uh i of course we all know that so in drug addiction also virechana is very effective of course this suresh is a 15 year boy getting excellent results i think his i don't know she has not mentioned the date but uh, this is 6 or 8 months before we did the virechana in this patient and he came for the uh, third follow up and he, he never get any patch recurrence of any suresh is patch see here it was very strong thick skin was there and which was almost clear got cleared after the virechana and on the back also it was patches were there and the, in the after shodhana it was cleared so this is what the results we are getting with virechana this is also autoimmune disease which was since i think he this patient was suffering since 8 8 years and he was he, he is also a 16 year boy so we consider it as a oshtapaka and we did the virechana and this you can see the changes in the slide this is the shwitra here we have not 
this patient is not following the panchakarma properly so he is not getting proper result after virachana also you can see that there are not drastic changes were not that not visible that's why i, I kept this slide that only slight changes we can see after virachana and it may take time with this i would like to thank the organizer for giving me this opportunity and thank you all participant for listening carefully thank you all and i thank banaras hindu university which is the birthplace of vishwa ayurved parishad also like it is a blessings to be in the banaras hindu university and working here because of all the support of my bh only i can give this or deliver this lecture today thank you all namaste uh, thank you madam if he uh, if any have any question you can ask by raising hand or you can put in the chat box also Yes, uh, please raise your hands. So I will make you unmute. Yes, ask your question. Hello. Hello, Namaste, Madam. Yes. I'm myself, Dr. Gadlinga, practicing in Balari, Ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yes, Ma'am. Uh... Mm -hmm. Ma'am, in Switra cases, uh -huh. the classical uh, virachana is called as Malapurasa. Yes. What is, how, how the preparation will be, ma'am? Uh, we didn't see I... uh, our PG life and UG. No one is practicing in Malapurasa. Yes, sir. For me also, I have not practiced Malapurasa. Frankly speaking, I have not practiced Malapurasa. Yes. Yeah. Any other uh, participants uh, or anybody I... who can answer, they can answer it. Yes, Dr. Ajay, you can ask. Yeah, I was just uh, telling about the, uh, like Malapur Asa, what the person has asked, doctor has asked me. Hello, am I audible? Yes, sir. Y yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir, audible. Yes, uh, doctor, doctor from Bellary has asked about the Malapur Asa. So, yes, sir. Uh, this is a plant, uh, basically, called, called is that Kathagula. A small plant is there. From there, uh, from the roots of that uh, plant, uh, some secretions are there. So you have to collect that secretion, and you can use that for the virulent purpose in sutra cases. Yeah, Doctor Tambalari has asked about the malpurasa. So that is known as malpurasa. A very nice presentation, okay, ma'am. Sir. And I'm very thankful for a very uh, practical uh, orientation and all research faculty, uh, research uh, topics what you have discussed. I just wanted, because I'm a uh, critical uh, consultant and I have an old practice. At present, I'm a professor at uh, Marli, Arifoda. I just wanted to know, uh, is there any scope like uh, CA patient with metastasis where we do slums? Because there you can't do shows and chikitsa seeing the balabal. But Sonson has a good result for restoring the... Uh, uh, progressive metastasis. So if any study or any uh, treatment you have done, something like that? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. The study I have not done, but the treatment I have done, like Sonsana, and it is giving better results. Because, you know, when you sit in the practice, always you are not a researcher or, or always you are not a teacher. You are a clinician also. So, all patients, you cannot come uh, collect as a research data, but uh, yes, I know that in the cancer patient or in the relative also with the patient who are on the metastasis, the sonsana with the, uh, what you say, that amlo, um, aragodha, aragodha phalamajja is, is 
very effective and because not in the chemost uh, not only in the metastasis in many conditions i i do panchakarma in coma patient also i did it so wherever there is anubandha wherever there is sangha if you remove the sangha of course it will give the better result and it is not going to complicate the further thing so in virajana if patient come with the metastasis or cancer also i remember one patient uh, the di doctors diagnosed as a metastasis or they were he was sent for the cancer institute in the malviya cancer institute in banaras only and he was my previous patient he was ex professor from the bhu and he he came to me uh, ma'am he was having just uh, i think cholelithiasis of 16 mm cholelithiasis of 16 mm and he with severe cholecystitis and he came to me ma'am kuch to kariye mujhe bahut severe pain hai i told okay okay sir we will plan and the next day his daughter came to me and she asked me ma'am my husband is doctor my brother is doctor and they are working in a well established institute and they are forcing my father for the pet scan i told him, okay go go for the pet no in ct scan it comes as a lump in the lump it, there was a lump in a uh, liver region so they told it is my, it might be the cancer and they sent patient for the pet scan and he could not come i think for two and half month he he could not visit me and after two and two and half month he came with the uh, bilirubin 4.2 sgot sgpt raised with a uh, 200 or 300 150 and 200 something i don't remember the particular and whole yellowness icterus in the nail also and then he asked me mai sab ghum ke aa gaya sare doctor ne mujhe ghuma liya pet scan normal aa gaya but ct scan mein jo pehle operative hua tha uska jo side dikh rahi hai wo unko cancer lag raha hai then i told okay sir whatever they are telling you can follow it he told no madam mujhe ayurved lena hai aap jo bolenge mai karunga as we all know it is it was very clear that was the शाखास्थित इट वॉज नॉट कोष्ठगत कोष्ठगत कामला टू शाखास्थित कामला आई टोल्ड हिम ओके यू कैन मैं कुछ दवाई नहीं दूंगी तो नहीं मैडम आप जो देंगे मैंने मैंने कहा सर आप मॉडर्न फॉलो करिए बस एक दवाई लेके जाइएगा और मुझे तीन दिन के बाद बता दीजिएगा आपको क्या हुआ बिकॉज ही वॉज टेलिंग मी कि उसके स्टूल भी पूरा तिल पिष्ट निभम आ रहा है एंड ऑफकोर्स मेटास कुछ दिख नहीं रहा था तब तक देन हमने सिर्फ उसको कुछ नहीं बताया जाके गोला दीनानाथ से यहाँ जो एक मार्केट है जहां पर आयुर्वेदिक मेडिसिन मिलती है वहां से कहा यू जस्ट टेक द कुटकी एंड ही टुक द कुटकी तो तीन दिन के बाद ही टोल्ड मी कि मैंने सिर्फ इतना कहा था आई टोल्ड हिम व्हेन द स्टूल कलर चेंजेस जस्ट इन्फॉर्म मी और ये बता दिया कि हाउ टू टेक द वृक्ष विरेचना सदे विरेचना जो भी है डेली यू हाउ टू टेक फॉर द थ्री डेज ऑन द थर्ड डे ही कॉल्ड मी there the stool color changes and he is having the whole like icterus jo hai wo sara kam ho gaya tha and now also he is coming to my opd he is actually previous case of post uh, uh he is a actual case of herpes post herpes pain in the abdomen karke aaye the uske baad unko cholecystitis hua tha cholelithiasis tha and now he is all right he is i think 64 years old hai kuch but what i am telling is panchakarma is effective virechana is we can give simple kutki to hame sabko pata hai ki wo pitta virechan karti hai wo shakhashrit aam kamala mein kaam karti hai tikshna virechan dena hota hai to humne wohi bhi kiya aur usse patient ko relief bhi milta hai aur bahut sare patient hote hai ki cancer ghar mein ghar mein cancer patient hai madam aap kuch dawai denge maine kaha nahi ek bar dikha do fir hum kuch dawai de denge to I usually give the Aragvad Falamajja or Avipatti Kurchurna for the Kosht Shuddhi and it will be solved by the Kosht Shuddhi. 
of course i'm not telling we can cure the cancer but we can improve the quality of life we can give the hope to the hope to the patient that we can do okay thank and you, there are many questions much. thank you and there are many questions in the chat box also if uh, yeah if dr yeah, chetan or dr santosh sir allow me so i can may i read the questions from the chat back chat box yes yes madam yes madam yeah someone asked how to assess bala in a rogi ma'am so uh, for i think dr c muthunang muthunagai this is what given in the viman sthana see i cannot here in in this one hour or two hour i cannot tell you everything how to assess the bala but when you see the assessment in the viman sthana there you can understand what are the criteria they have given for the bala assessment how to assess the bala of the patient bala balin with what parameters we can assess the bala or when the when you plan the panchakarma in the patient from the first day to till the vamana or virechana you will assessing the bala at every stage if the patient is balwan he will take sevana very easily or he can take more grita if patient is having less bala with 60 ml or 80 ml he will start loose stool so that in that way we can understand the bala so bala is not like uh, there are no uh, blood investigations to assess the bala it's all the clinical assessment what we will learn with the practice and next question is yeah i am currently working in efficiency of virechanam in cardiomyopathy please give some informative ideas to enhance my study of course as you are working in the cardiomyopathy like vidya virechana is already told in the science you can go for the what i have seen with the effect of uh, in bundle branch block or in the ccf we have seen a better result with the virechana so you can take the investigation as a treadmill or stress test or the uh, neuro transmitter sorry biomarker as a uh, what they do nuclear medicine person do with virechana you can see the changes that can be included in your study that is dr mohit sandhu has asked this question and dr kalavade kalavade has asked that uh, please can you give some idea about sadyo virechana uh, of course this is what the shortcut i usually not prefer the shortcut if there is the emergency you can go for the sadyo virechana but in classics nitya virechana is explain not the sadyo virechana or sadyo virechana will not give the effect as like a proper classical virechana sadyo virechana will just give the small or it will be the just snacks it cannot be a meal so you can do for the sadyo virechana for them who cannot follow the do's and don'ts of virechana who don't have time for themselves who don't who are not sincere about their disease or sincere about their health for them you can go for sadyo virechana of course in sadyo virechana we do the 3 to 4 days deepana pachana 2 to 3 days sneha pana then 3 days of the gap day and fourth day we give the mrudu virechana that is it. or post shuddhi is not the sadyo virechana sadyo virechana you have to follow the sneha pana and from deepana pachana this is to dr kalavade then anita gayatri no question thank you and dr anita gayatri then dr datta excellent presentation thank you then the question yeah directly or any prior preparation for that sir i don't understand what is dr gadilinga asked i don't understand the question directly or any prior preparation for that sir uh i don't understand if dr gadiling gadilinga is there he can ask the question which i can understand otherwise i will go to the next question yes yes so, ma'am uh, for that i am asked for malappuram rasam ma'am okay 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 that is the same thing yes. okay yeah uh, yeah lingaradi lingaradi biradar asked 
during snehapana in few cases we will get abdominal pain kindly elaborate ah shiroru brahmanishthiva shula so this is what we get in the snehapana why we are getting the abdominal pain maybe because of the ajirna maybe because of the overdose of medicated sneha maybe because of the apachara the patient has so what is the solution for that the proper assessment or prior to snehapana proper assessment if there is not proper agni dipti there will be the abdominal pain there are the chances of abdominal pain or sometime i i think uh, one patient i don't know what is dr biradar has uh, came across but where i came across with the abdominal pain in with the falak therapy because that patient was having a mrudu koshta and having pitta pradhanta and we give the falak therapy as she was the case of infertility we give the falak rita of different company and we got she got the abdominal pain but i understand that might be because of the medicines which are medicate that rita that may cause the abdominal pain and from the next patient we change the company and usually when i i think there is a strong crudo koshta and we need more drugs so i usually never give the strong gitaj so this is all the things we we have to manage and if there is a pain in abdomen usually what we have to do we can give the pachana in that or hingvashtak with the gita will work better or medicated jeera water or cumin water will relieve the abdominal pain we won't need more medicines in the snehapana only simple warm water or medicated water or in emergency you can give the hingvashtak or shankha shankhavat that is the solution for this the main thing is we should work on how to not get into the complication how we can prevent the complication so what i told you proper deepana pachana will minimize the complications during the snehapana and do's and don'ts in the snehapana if patient is not following ushna dukopchari sa brahmacharik shapashaya na vegarodha vyayama krodha shoka bhaya atpan that that's all is the most important part of the panchakarma and if patient is not following that and i am very sure and what in my clinical practice i have seen if patient is not following that they are getting the complication so why this patient got abdominal pain whether he took cold water whether he took some food in between the snehapana snehajiriyaman lakshanas so that are the uh, thinking process you should done prior to the giving medicine to this patient so i think dr biradar is it okay we will go to the next question madam can you question is asked by dr alekha kantewada madam can you give some detail on advising virechana in a patient who is anxious to conceive is it effective and how can we advise the procedure uh, alekha ma'am bijam bhavati karmukam is in the context of virechana only in the shodhana only so it is very much effective in the infertility or if the patient is anxious to conceive will work better and how to advise procedure that you should ask the patient to see, to visit any specialist who are in the panchakarma specialist they can explain and they can tell the benefit of getting preconceptional panchakarma and preconceptional and it is i would like to tell the house like all participants that preconceptional panchakarma or virechana is giving excellent result not only for the female for the baby also and for the family also why because i am seeing many patients who are not following sutika paricharya who are not following all all the garbhini paricharya who have not done the panchakarma prior to conception they are ending in the autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis ankylosing spondylosis so this they can we can avoid or a baby like usually what like being in panchakarma we always do the panchakarma for those who are there with us we do the panchakarma prior to the marriage or after marriage prior to conceive 
and we are seeing that babies they have the different glow those who have done the virechana prior to conception the babies will get the different glow so in in such a way you can explain the patient the importance of virechana how is how in coma patient madam root of administration of medicine uh, dr gadilinga i have not done the virechana in coma patient i have done the other procedures like nasya udvartana churna pindas veda other things in the coma patient not virechana coma virechana i have done in the spinal cord injury patient who cannot stand who cannot walk and that patient after virechana is walking now she is uh, running re running also so i have not done a virechana in coma patient but of course now also i am doing one spinal cord injury patient and we have planned the virechana in that patient also next question is by dr please brief it madam i don't understand what is that question uh dr nandini rd i asked as you rightly said one should be aware of cycles in females before going to the panchakarma procedures if at all the patient had undergone snehapana and also vishram kala of 3 days what if the patient gets spirits on virechana day early morning what to advise for patients during cycle and when to restart how to start complete procedures to be start restarted once again yes a very good question by dr nandini rd uh, this is what i i usually get what i have uh, i think first 10 years of my practice i have learned to manage the complications of panchakarma only when i was working as a assistant professor in different colleges other i won't i won't say the professors or senior senior doctors but mostly they do the panchakarma and they get the when they get the complication they remember me now also many times it happens other department teachers they do the panchakarma and when they get the complication they call me dr rajkala uh, are you there yes sir uh, one patient we gave virechana vamana and he uh, the vamana vega are not stopping can you come and see yes sir one patient we gave virechana and uh, he is not getting proper virechana so this is what that's how i learn the pancha how to manage panchakarma complications and this is very routine thing that on the day of virechana menses comes because uh, dear friends whenever there is a menstruation process there is an ovulatory cycle or whenever there is a menorrhea and we give the sneha this sneha is doing the sanghata nasha or play the vilayana so with that the patient is getting the menses earlier than 5 to 7 days earlier than her routine periods so that's why it is our vigilance or it is the doctor's duty to plan the panchakarma or snehapana on the fifth day of menstru menstruation this is the first thing and if the patient if the period comes on the day of virechana you cannot do anything it happens with me also what i do i stop the abhanga sveda don't do the abhanga i ask patient to do the self abhanga not to go for the svedana she can take bath with the two but two buckets of the warm water or hot water and then i give the avipatti kur churna 20 g now just i plan the mrudu virechana already we have given the ghee we cannot stop or we cannot leave the patient with this much of shodhananga snehapana with this much utkleshana what we already have done or this much of pitta vridhi what we already have done we cannot leave the patient so we can give the mrudu virechana in such cases and we cannot go for the strong shodhan also as she is menstruating so usually what i do in such in such complicated patients i give the 20 g of avipatti kar churna so i plan the mrudu virechana that she could not get complication in the menstruation so trurta vleha 10 10 to 15 g or avipatti kar 20 g will work better or plan accordingly that she should get the 8 to 10 times of vega and when she finish the menstruation then again you can go for the Two days dipana pachana, three days major sneha pana, fifty, hundred, one fifty ml, and then three days gap days, and then you can give the double dose of avaleha or the virechana oshada. So this is what I am doing. This is the answer to Doctor Nandini. Ah, uh, then the question is by Doctor Ashu Sharma. 
how can I get pre-informed meal? Okay, that is not for me. This is for Dr. Uh, this is the, for the coordinator. How to count Vega and Upa Vega during Virechana, ma'am? Good question. <laughs> as in Vamana, we do the projectile vomiting as the Vega and other small are the Upa Vega. What we calculate, number of visit to the toilet is the Vega. And how many times he flushes, we, we took it as a Upa Vega. This is the simple calculation what clinically we do. Okay, there is no reference for this. Okay. And next question is, uh, drastically result in cardiomyopathy. Okay, this I think after my answer. Yes, Ganga Hadimani, I am agree with you. Dr. Kalavade, okay, thank you. Yes, 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 I am agree with Ganga, Dr. Ganga. Then Ganga, not to allow to patient to sleep in daytime, ask patient to drink continuous hot water. Okay, that is the best Nehapana in Virachar Karma, Nehapana in infertility. What is the question of Dr. Mukesh Kumar Jatav? Best Nehapana in Virachar Karma, I don't understand the question or Snehapan in infertility. Whether he's asked, he want to ask the Sneha for infertility? Best Sneha for infertility? I don't understand. Chetan, can you understand this question? Or you can ask Dr. Mukesh Kumar Zato if he is there. You want to know which is which uh, Grita is used for infertility mostly for male and female? Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So, of course, for female, mostly, Pala Kalyanak is very good Grita for infertility if it is because of the hormonal. If it is because of the obesity, then we should go for the Gugulu Panchatikta Grita. Okay, so the cause of infert infertility is the choice of Grita is depend on the cause of infertility. I cannot, yeah, there are the basic, like you can use the Fala Grita, you can use the Kalyana Grita, you can use the, where there is the psychological issues are there. I use the Panchagavya also for Snehapana in infertility. So it is not, I cannot tell you like this Grita is for infertility. This is all the, when you sit in the clinics, you assess the patient, you think about the causes of the disease, then you can choose the proper snehapana. So these are the basic things which you will get or we can share this uh, PPT to them. Okay. Then Dr. Paresh, I think he is Paresh Chaugle. Usually in Shodhana procedure, we do dosho klesha by giving snehapana. We use Murshita Grita for snehapana in Shodhana procedure. What is your opinion or experience about medicated ghee used as Shodhana snehapana? Have you came across any differences between medicated Grita and Murchita Grita in result of Shodhana procedure? Very good question by Dr. Parish. Uh, of course, in this 23 years of Panchakarma practices, this is the routine question asked by the student or anywhere or by the non-Panchakarma specialist. They usually ask, why you do, why you use the Grita, medicated Grita for the Snehapana? Let me tell you, Dr. Paresh, of course, I know, like, they have not told to use the plain Grita, like, uh, not non-medicated Grita or plain Grita should not be used for the Panchakarma, as it is the Ama Grita, Ama Sneha. So, it is clear that we should go for the Murchita Grita or medicated Grita. And now, the question is, why you are not using Murchita Sneha? Why you are using the medicated Sneha? As we are, we want to do the Utkleshna only. With the clinical practice, I, I would like to tell if a patient is of Kushta, whatever it may be. It may be dry eczema, it may be wet eczema, it may be dermatitis, it may be psoriasis, it may be uh, lupus, it may be bullous, bullous amphigus, it may be... Uh, what is that? Lichen planus. Whatever it may be, the disease. 
patient is having itching. Okay. So first thing what you have to do in Deepana Pachana, we should reduce the itching. And then we start the, of course, with Deepana Pachana, the Vata will increase. He will start the itching. In Kushta patient. Whatever, whatever will be the subtype of the Kushta. And in that case, if you use the Murchitta Sneha, that will not relieve the itching. And if you use the Panchatikta or Mahatikta Grita according to the disease specific, that will, first three days will reduce the, will do the Shamana only. No any Grita is doing Utkleshana for from the first day. When you see the Samyak Snehan Lakshana, Vatan Ulumem Diptagni, so first three days there are the Shamana Lakshanas only. There we are not doing any Utkleshana. After doing proper Shamana only, they are increasing the Utklesha. So why not to give the medicated Sneha both things in a same gun or in the with the same एक गोली से अगर हम दो पक्षियों को मार सकते हैं तो क्यों ना एक गोली से दो क्योंकि उसका शमन भी करना है और उसके एक्स्ट्रा जो ज्यादा दोष है उसको निकालना है उत्प्लेश करके तो दैट्स हाउ इन बिकॉज इफ वी आर गिविंग द मूर्चित स्नेहा और प्लेन स्नेहा इन कुष्ठा और इन स्टेट अस्थमेटिक पेशेंट दे गेट द अटैक्स सो इन सच केसेस आई वुड प्रिफर टू गो फॉर द मेडिकेटेड जीता आई वोट टेक द मूर्चित स्नेहा इन सम केसेस मोस्टली वेर देर इज for swastha, if we are doing for healthy person in the Sharad Rutu, we use the Murchita Sneha. So that's how with the clinical practice, I won't go for the uh, non-Murchita or Ama Sneha. The next question is <clears throat> by Dr. Purushottam Dasar, elaborate action of Shodhana to promote healthy pregnancy. Uh, of course, with the time constraint, I think it's already 12.40 and uh, Professor Santosh Chavan has given me the time till 12.30 only. So just I can ask the organizer, should I, should I continue or there are many questions? Madam, we have time limitations, so we will stop here. I have provided okay. the uh, number in chat box, madam. So anyone has any queries, they can directly contact to the madam. Uh, thank you very much, madam. So now I thank invite you. Dr. Dureya Basai, sir, for vote of thanks. Namaste, sir. Yes, sir. May I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, you are audible. Good afternoon to all. Indeed, it's a great pleasure for me to be with you to convey my vote of thanks to the today's guest speaker and executive members and uh, national convener and coordinators and all the faculty members and uh, practitioners and students. First of all, I'd like to convey my heartfelt thanks and gratitude for the today's guest speaker, Dr. Rajikala Panchakshari Patil, Madam, Associate Professor, Head of the Department, Department of Panchakarma BHU, for our wonderful deliberation for the topic therapeutic precision in virachana karma virachana practices it was a very nice presentation madam on behalf of vishwa ayurved parishad and panchakarma sambhasha parishad i vote and all heartedly thank you madam and second uh, it's my i convey my sincere thanks to the national convener professor r k gupta sir and national co convener professor santosh chavan sir and the coordinator, Dr. Ch Chetan Gulane, sir, for their wonderful organizing this uh, fourth series of Panchakarma lecture on behalf of Isha Ayurved Parishad. And, and also, I would like to convey my vote of thanks for the National Executive Committee members, that is Professor Govind Sah Sukla, sir, President, National Executive Committee, and General Secretary, Professor Mahesh Vyas, sir, Organizing Secretary, Professor Yogesh Chandra Mishraji, sir, and a joint Organizing Secretary, Professor K.K. Dwedi, sir, for their valuable support and uh, contribution in order to organize this event. And likewise, I would like to convey my thanks for the zone wise coordinators, that is Prakash Singh Rajput Sarji and uh, Raj Singh Sarji and Tiwari, sir, and Uttam Sharma, sir, on behalf of Vishwa Ayurved Parishad and all the participants. Once again, I convey my thanks to you people, sir. 
and last but not the least i thank all the participants faculty members practitioners pg students and ug students for their valuable support and the active participants in this great event thank you thank you anand also thank you sir thank you all so today's session is over thank you